<laughs> Not fair! I can never go fast enough! Aw, uh, that's okay, little guy. Have you ever heard the story of the tortoise and the hare? No. <laughs> I think you might like it.
oh so huge. Plant them in the ground and overnight they'll grow all the way up to the sky. A 
clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come. Strange guy, I don't think I'll stay. I think 
She shook her head, looked at the stream. I just had the strangest dream. Was that all just a dream? about the boy who cried wolf? No, tell me. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man.
like the mean old troll in the story of Billy Goat Gruff. In 
she went. Anyway, little did Goldilocks know she had just entered the house of the three bears. Wow, look over there, a table of food. Great, cuz I am in the mood for a big bowl of porridge just for me. Hey, there's one! Wait, there's two! No, look! There's three! Papa Bear's porridge! That's too hot! Mama Bear's porridge! That's too cold! Baby Bear's porridge! After Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy. For Baby Bear's chair, and so it broke. Oops! Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear. Good lesson she had learned. 